Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another unboxing video. Uh, today we're going to be unboxing another laptop. We just received it today. Uh, yes, firstly, I need to remove the plastic and take out the stuff from inside the box. This is a big box, though. It's a laptop inside. Yeah, it's a big box. So, I'm a... Uh, Cut to when I have taken out all this. Alright, after struggling to open this box, we have another big box. Yes, it's an, like I said before, it's a laptop and it's HP. So let's... Uh, this is how big the box is. Alright. This is how big the box is. Let's open it and find out. As we have one packed what's in the, the the box so we get the the manual right obviously comes with a manual how to set up your laptop and what have you not uh give me a minute i actually did not see this like number four i did not know this was part of the laptop but we'll, we'll find that as when we um, like when we go through what this machine has in store and before we come to this of course you get your the charger right the adapter and the charger head and this is the laptop as you can see this is the wrong way we have to turn it around obviously i don't know if you can see this color but it looks grayish grayish you know and it looks lovely Although, like, I don't know if you can see that fingerprint on it. It does um, capture some fingerprints to it, but it seems like it doesn't really, the, the fingerprints that you put on it don't really stay. Unless, unless, unless you have greasy hands, then obviously that will leave a mark. Uh, let us open the laptop. just want to be very careful how I'm doing this. It looks... A 15.6 inch laptop, a uh, HP laptop to be exact. Um, obviously, all the details that I may forget, I will link it and put it in the description. But so far, this is a 15 inch laptop, HP laptop. It is, it has 8 gig of RAM and 256 gigs of storage or ROM, if you may say all right so this is what we get obviously not uh you get the covering for the for keyboard and yeah and this is how it looks i don't know how fast it runs all right but as i was looking at at the at the manual you can see there's our well, I think it, it is. It means that it's opted out. Oh, okay, I did not read that. Never mind. Let us proceed. <laughs> so this is how the laptop looks. 15 inch, and there you have your camera, right? I forgot the resolution for this camera. Like I said, um, all the information that I do miss or forget to say, I'll put them in the description uh, before. Let's take a look on the sides. What do we have packed on the sides? So on this side, they decided to, to put the power cable this side. Not really a problem. So on this side, we have the power port. Oh, and then we have two USB ports. And then we have the micro SD card slot. And then on the other side, on the other side, we have the Ethernet port, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. And then we have the HDMI, and then we have a um, C-type port. A C-type port. And then we have an audio jack. Like the newer laptops don't, don't come with audio jacks. And yeah, they don't come with Ethernet ports either. And HDMI's as well, if I'm not mistaken. 
Uh, here we have the keyboard. Pretty, pretty, pretty smooth. Personally saying, if this is not your, your cup of tea, then uh, I can I can really speak for you, but the keyboard, the, the keys, I mean, they feel smooth to, to use. So, oh, there's the power button. Let's switch on this machine and see how, you know, how, how well it runs. We don't have anything in play, uh, in store. I'm not sure if I need to charge this, but obviously this is just an unboxing of, of the laptop. I cannot tell you, I don't have, um, much to, to say on it as for now concerning performance, right? But all I know is, is that the specs is that it has nine, I mean, eight gigs of RAM which obviously there are other versions that go for 16 gigs, right? But this one specifically is 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. This is the HP 950. Yeah, I, I forgot the version of this. Pardon me again. Like I said, all the information that I do forget, I will put it in the description. Let's give it a minute. Ooh, okay, so this is how the touchpad feels. Obviously, I don't know if you can see the cursor. Obviously, I, you can change the sensitivity for for this. And then, oh, speaking of the the, the touchpad, okay, I forgot to show this. Right, so with with like newer laptops, this old technology. I wouldn't say this is old, but this is kind of like old fashioned. It's dealt with because this whole side is, is touch as we know that, right? It's touch. But HP has opted for this version. This is left click and this is right click. I, I won't, I won't complain because it's, I mean, it doesn't really affect, um, my preference, neither the performance of the laptop. So let's try to set this up real quick and see what's what the laptop has installed. Huh. I don't know which okay, let's just let's just design. Ah, just skip it. I'm gonna okay, I can't skip any of this. I cannot. Okay, once we pass all this, um, anything that's important within the setup stage, I'll obviously put it in the video. But other than that, things like this, it's not pretty. It's not much to to really look at. So I'm just gonna skip forward to when we are like actually on the home page of the. Uh, of the dust of the lab. So after going, I won't say, I would say, I mean, that this setup has been one of the longest setups that I have actually experienced. I won't lie because, um, of course there's like the normal ones where you have to set up your password, you know, back up your data from the, your old laptop or your previous laptop to the new one. And then some like the Microsoft Office options and and stuff that you can decide to opt in or not. And then there was an option where they asked what you're gonna use the laptop for, right? And I, I don't I don't have all those options down, but one of them's like for development, for gaming, for create for creativity, for school and stuff like that. And I'm guessing that from those options that you choose is gonna is going to um bring forth like the next um pages or tabs in your setups because there was one setup where um they they brought up they brought up a subscription for gaming and the other subscription was for Microsoft Office or Microsoft 365, right? And yeah, this has been pretty long, 
pray it along. So far, we just uh, we waiting for this, but I'm waiting for this. <laughs> but um, but yeah, what what I'll do is that I'll just end the video here. But before I end the video, I forgot to speak and show the camera. In the beginning of the video, I was like quite skeptical of open of opening the camera from here because this is way too thin and this is where the camera is so i'm not really sure if this is how you open the laptop or if there's another like um shallow space for you to 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 click up but yeah we have the camera again i don't know the i forgot the resolution but we have the camera and we have the two the two eternal microphones i i for me i take it as pretty decent because the way i'm talking to you now it makes it for me it makes it um efficient right because if i'm on a zoom call or you know a team's meeting right it would be easier to to know that my microphone my eternal microphones let's say i don't have um you know the external microphones right i won't have to worry about looking or trying to position myself in in um uh, looking for the microphones here so that they can be able to hear me we will know that the microphone is where the camera is so it's easy to spot right that's why i say personally for me it's efficient i don't know how it will be for for you people but personally for me it is efficient so i think we can wrap up the unboxing video we can wrap up the unboxing video because look at this look at this um but again oh we can we can stop and cancel the restoration but that is that's gonna be a problem because what's actually happening is it's taking my old not my old files or apps it's taking the apps that i used on my other laptop right and it's putting it on this one well it's downloading it on this one right i'm not sure if it's going to put all the apps or if it's just going to put some of them but this is what we're actually waiting for but so far this laptop is pretty pretty clean i love the color it's it's not because of my f camera quality, it's not going to be the same way as you see it. But the name for this is it's not Gray Gray. I forgot the actual name for it, but it's gray, though. You can see it's gray and black. It's gray, the 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 whole material. Not the whole material, but the, the, the color coding of the laptop itself is gray with black keys, of course. So, yeah. And, again... Not again, but as I conclude the video, if you enjoyed this unboxing, um, one thing I'll say though, the setup is pretty long, especially if you are restoring it or transferring your data from your old laptop to this one, it's pretty long, right? And also, if you decide to, to answer to answer the questions as to what you use the laptop for as well. But apart from that, the setup is by itself long, right? I cannot speak for like, I cannot speak concerning the experience with other laptops, but for this one, the setup is pretty long. It's pretty long. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Please like and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section if you want to have, if you want to get an update on the performance of the laptop. Because sadly, I couldn't show you how the, per, uh, how the laptop performs. But just know that according to the specs, expect it to, to perform well, right? With, with, your, with your talks. And with gaming, I would say that it wouldn't really run heavy games you might like come across problems but for like your simple games right you can obviously before you want to download a game 
you have to check the specs, right? And see the system requirements, right? But other than that, this laptop is pretty, pretty cool. Pretty fun. I haven't used it yet, but I have seen like other reviews of it. That's why I'm telling you it's pretty cool, right? And also given the, the specs, like 8 gig of RAM and 256 gig of ROM. I mean, that's, 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 that's cool. Again, if you want the update, because I'm going to like download a game, most probably Apex, right? And, and see how it runs on it. So if you want an update on that, to, you know, um, help you decide if getting this laptop is good, then just let me know in the comment section. And for the price, it's, it's pretty, it's because I'm in South Africa, right? And the price of this was 5500 right? That was the price of this laptop. And even the specs that it came with, I mean, that's a decent price. That's a decent price. A decent price. So, yes, it's, it's, it's mid-range, right? It's not too expensive. But at the same time, it does not um, pull back its punches, if I may say. So again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. It's going to help, you know, encourage more content like this. And also leave your comments in the comment section. And I'll catch you in the next one.